What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to episode 37. So this time around, we are taking out Noxtella, the Eternal City. So quite a few things to get here, including some stuff we need for our plat. Uh, right up the start, there is a grease that we're going to grab right behind this wall. And we're going to head up the stairs. So to actually proceed through this zone, we go like on this lower area. We're going to knock out all of the upper city area first, and then we're going to proceed down below. So we have lots of these swordstress maidens around. And honestly, up to this point, this will probably be the the heart. Wow, the crown and the armor on that drop. I don't think that that used to drop. But anyway, um, yeah, take that one out, and we're gonna head on in here. Another one that we're gonna sneak up and stab. Oh, never mind. You're looking at me. Uh, so up until now, this is going to by far be the hardest area that you've been in. Uh, the enemies here, this one, this is real chest, by the way. The enemies here can do a lot of damage. They're definitely tankier than the stuff we fought up until now. I can shoot this ant skull plate. Um, you know, so just be careful. And, and to reiterate, you don't have to do this area right now. I just think it's good because we're going to get more upgrade mats. We're also going to be able to wrap up Ronnie's quest line. Um, if you want, if you're struggling here... A safer progression at this point we're well so in terms of Limgrave is done uh, Liernia is done except for this area over here which we're getting to by going through this zone and then over here in Kaled there is still all of this upper stuff but that stuff is pretty high level I would hold off on doing that um, probably until we're like at the capital city so if you want to progress elsewhere doing all this area up here is definitely doable right now and then a lot of the stuff over in this in the Altus Plateau is also doable right now. So, anyway, while I was sitting there looking at the map, these guys summoned. Uh, it's a bunch of little mimic tears. So there's like a chain reaction with them, so you kill one, and then that's going to happen, and then that's going to happen, and, you know, it's going to keep blowing up. So, basically, you kill one, and most of them should die. See, there was one straggler. Of course, there's always one, la one that's lagging behind, so... Yeah, you kill this, you kill those, and then you're going to head on up top. Um, we're going to take a left, but before we go in that building, we're going to go around this. So you get us a little piece of candy. Archer Ashes. That is new. I don't think that didn't used to be Archer Ashes over there. Huh. Let's take a look at them. It's just like an army. Oh, ooh. Hmm. That might actually be really fun to use. Just have them firing off arrows that cause frostbite. That might be a really cool summon to mess with. Yeah, that used to be... I don't remember what it was. Um, I didn't even write I just said for loot. It was not summons before. Anyway, and here we have more of these things. A couple of them have shields on their face. So, you know, Demon Souls 101, get behind the shield. You can see it's not challenging. You just walk behind them and smack them. Pop open this chest, which should be a ball bearing. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Um, on this next path, there's two mimics waiting to ambush us. You can see them, so we're just going to run past them. We're going to run, then we're going to jump in here, and we're also going to run. Now we're going to kill them both. Stop that. I'm gonna pop this open. Sombering seven. Hang on one second. I feel like this is kind of dark. To my video properties. No brightness is adjusted up, huh? Well, this is just kind of a dark zone. Maybe it was just the my glance at it. But yeah, you don't want to let these things fall on top of you. They'll, like, explode themselves with spikes. Still a ton of damage. Like this. I oh, know there's a big old ball that we can see over there upstairs. That's going to make its way over to us, but before it does, we're going to take care of some other stuff first. So it might be, like, waiting right here for you. Just something to be aware of. Go ahead and pop this. Ah! 
Ouch. Let's see what I was talking about with the damage these things deal. Them dead, we can pop this open. And there's the Night Maiden and Swordstress puppets, which is pretty nice, because they're, it's basically like the stuff we just fought. Uh, this is just a random balcony. There's nothing here. I don't know why it's here, uh, but you can use it to jump back over if you want. That's about it. Um, but yeah, pretty decent summon all around because you're getting two semi elites to fight with you. So that can be pretty good. Uh, after this though, Let's head on down the bridge. The ball has not come yet. It looks like it's rolling backwards. Okay, that works. With the golden rune. I'm going to head this way and swing into this area. I don't think I have the stone at this point. Um, let me check. Uh, ball coming? It sounds like ball's coming. Yeah. Let's see, that's what it'll do. It'll speed up, and when it does, there's a good chance it'll just run you over. So, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, this is not working out. I am stuck. I may just be dead here. Get off of me, ball. I don't know how that worked out, but I'll take it. So we get the larval tear from it. Uh, rune 10, rune left has Cyber 7, and another mimic above. Open the stoneboard door for double summon, cross the bridge, kill the ball, make a right and hit the ball, it's above, then open the chest. So we might be able, big might, uh, be able to get this with our crossbow. Let me see, it depends what kind of bolts I have. Explosive bolts may work. So up top you can see a ball. I need to get that ball to come down. We don't need to kill it. If we deal enough damage, it should just fall down. And I know um, you can like hit it with spells and stuff. That should work. Wow, you were being really resistant. Okay, let me see what else I could chuck at you to get you to fall. Um, yeah, let's try that. Explosive stones. There we go. Another larval tier. Go. Great ghost glove work. Take you off. Some heavy load with you on. Okay. We got that other ball. Um, let's see. Afterwards, we're going to continue up. I'm going to go right and down the path for a smithing six. And then inside for another ball and a bunch of those little mimics. There it is. Just in case that doesn't get it to fall, I'm going to put on something else I can throw that it will explode. Um, maybe one of those? I don't know. We just need, I mean, we just need to knock it down. And this thing is, if you're playing as a... Uh, actually, let me see if I even have that incantation yet. I don't know if I do, it's stored. Well, you can kind of see it. it's up there. So what we're going to do is try and hit this thing before all the mimics start attacking. There we go. Perfect. If we run this way, the ball... hope is that the ball kills the mimics and then as the mimics die they explode and kill the ball go get another larval tier pop this chest choose somber seven grab this guy 
those those are quite nice i'll need to go pick up some more oh they have a scaling strength that's why they're like made for me to do this with dope actually i want to see something i was talking to a buddy about this Yeah, that's cheeky as shit. Windstone scraps and then parry your own thing to create the carry retaliation. Because the scraps, you throw them down and then they create little little tiny bolts that'll go and attack the target. So that's that's pretty funny. Yeah, so kill the shiny over here. Get another sombering. Um, and then inside we got three enemies and a legendary talisman waiting for us in the chest. Time for a battle. Mimic versus Mimic. I'll try and rush this thing down. are the real threat here, but the source just is annoying if you don't have her out of the way. You have no poise, and you're naked. Stop it. Albert Gang! I wish the Mimic would do the Jiggle with you. That would be so satisfying. Anyway, after doing that, go ahead and pop the chest, and this will get you the Moon of Noxtella, which is needed for your all legendary talismans achievement. Okay, after that, we're going to exit south through this door. And then we drop here, and we go down, and we'll take an elevator. And that'll bring us to basically the end of the zone. Now, there's still a bunch of stuff down here. As I mentioned, there's like an upper portion and a lower portion. Um, I'd be deviating from my notes a little bit, but it might make more sense to just attack this all from behind. So, let's do it. So grab this. Uh, right over there, that's actually where we go to like proceed and finish out this zone, but... We will try going from behind here. Right, so we got the ants. And there's a ton of Cormac Rock around here, so I'd suggest just snatching it all up. Never know when you're going to need it. Most of the stuff I don't even remember what it's used for in crafting, but... I mean, it's here, so we'll get it. Okay, then we're going to head over this way. We're just going to kill one of these to get the chain reaction going. That should kill the other two for us. Go up here and kill these two. And then two more. gotta kill one of them. I'll probably just use Kukri's to be honest. Closer. Perfect. There we go. There 
we go. Nice and clean. Oh, so much easier than having people suicide run through that. I mean, not a suicide run, but anyway, we're going to continue going this way first, just to clear out the rest of the stuff that's over here. There's like a couple of loose loots laying around. So we got the ghost glove words. We got the room 10 uh, over here by these dudes. They're guarding a thing. A uh, celestial to do, if I recall. Serpent arrows, smithing stones. Where are my... Over here? Ah, there it is. There's the celestial do. Seal on up. Two more of these sorceress things. Explore over there. Yeah, no, I did. There's nothing. I can just... Swing around and get a little sneaky here. Oh man, dodged. What am I gonna do? That thing actually deals, like, a very scary amount of damage. But I can't beat the sword dance. So we get the smithing stone six. We got the holy grease. Let me check my notes here. So X the south, drop for an elevator. Get the sea back to the grace northwest for holy grease, smithing six. Kill the two ladies. Do up by the slugs. Up ahead to take steps for ghost glove work nine. Which is being guarded by the lady. Next part, I'd recommend running through rune 10, two ghost states, then off to the right. Ants for the formic rock. Ant rider. Die. Man, those, those mounted criticals. Ah, they're so satisfying. There's no, like, other boss or anything in this area. So we can just pop our healing and head on in. See, typically all that stuff over there is, like, shooting at us while we're coming over here. Ooh, Sorceress Crown. Pop that open to get the Ghost Glove Wart 9. And with that, we now have what we need to fully upgrade a single Legendary Ashen Summon to plus 10. So we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. So we already cleared out the stuff over there. We're going to run on over here. Get the, uh, where is it at? Same as before, kill one, let the chain reaction take care of the rest of the work for you. Easy runes. Uh, these strays in the river I wouldn't worry about. It is so satisfying that that does enough damage to kill the ant and dismount her for the kill every time. That's just like, mmm, this is delightful. The craziest thing is this isn't even like properly built out. I could put so much more in strength. So grab the eight, head on over here. Should be a little loot tucked away. Let's kill the one. Killing this thing. 
Um, and then I believe that's it. No, these two ants are guarding something. I don't remember what. Ow! See, that's what I'm talking about. When you get hit by that thing, man, it hurts. Maybe you're not guarding anything. I swear the ants were by something. Oh, you know what? It's the uh, it's the other ants. The ants in the formic rocks. So let's see. Grease smithing six. Kill the two ladies. Do um, run through. Grab ten. Pass the ants and a bunch of formic rock and a stonework key. Okay, hang on. We did not get that stonework key. Then south for a somber seven. Guarded by three mimics. Head west past the stairs for a do by more mimics. After the elevator, grab the ghost nine, then left down into the cave for the basilisk. Okay, so hang on. We missed a stonework key up oh, over here. Yep, because this is where the formic ants were. This is why you always got to check the notes. There we go. Now we can leave out of this area. The next place is going to be fun. And in case you didn't get it, I'm saying fun sarcastically. It's not going to be fun. But we're going to try and make it fun. I think I got a really good strategy on deck to help get you through it. Of course, we still have that Baleful Invader. We're going to have to fight him in a second. Um, kind of a challenging fight, to be honest, especially at this point. I think Sword Dance will reign supreme because that move is crazy strong, especially in encounters with other humanoids. But, um, you know, I'd recommend blowing your runes before you go and rest. This guy... This guy might butter your biscuit. Alright, 30, and then yeah, more there. 30's fine. I don't need more than that. So we have the ghost glove wart over here. And then there's no other key loots in this area. Um, there's just a bunch of Duke Kiss Herb and whatnot. We'll grab it all, just because might as well. But next up, we have the Baleful Shadow. And this is... One of the final things we need. It's funny, because there's so many times that you think you're done the Ronnie quest line, and you're not, you know? You you turn in the thing she was looking for, and she's like, thank you for your service. And you're like, cool, I'm done. Uh, by the way, for this part, where is it at? Uh, Beast Torch. These are the Death Basilisks. Hey. Hey, hey, stay away now. Back away. You know, once you have it out, they're quite docile. Yeah, it's gonna be your best friend. Okay, and here is the Baleful Shadow. say he was hard. Come on, man. Can I parry you? Damn. Done so much damage. Damn. Doing so much damage. being too passive here. Discard a palace key. Okay. 
And even then, she's like, all right, this is farewell. And you're like, okay, awesome. I did it. I finished the Rani quest line. Nope, still not done. There's, there's still more. It just keeps on going. So after that, head on this way. We're not going to have to fight anything, so don't worry about your health. And welcome to the Lake of Rot. Now, we pointed this place out a long time ago when we first came through the Ainsel River location. Uh, this is a big old lake filled with rot, and we can't use our horse, which sucks. So we are going to do some things to better prepare us for this area in particular. First up, grab the map. You can see it's it's not, not a small zone. There's a lot of rot here. Uh, and because of that, there are some things that we want to get. So, let me go spend our souls. Well, hmm. Hmm. 4,000 short. I'm debating. I'm thinking maybe... We're going to go get an armor set that helps us out a lot in this area, and I'm thinking maybe it would be beneficial to do that at the start of the rot episode to make sure nobody misses it. Because I know how people love to skip ahead. Uh, no. I think I need... Sevens are probably enough for 4,000. Yep, right on the mark. Okay. Yeah, I think let's wrap things up. So, um, what we're going to be doing, though, next episode, we're going to be heading on over here. Remember this we got when we got our early plus 10. Uh, we're going to be working our way up to get to an area that's close to that that will give us armor which will greatly increase our immunity to rot. And we're basically going to be setting ourselves up to survive the rot quite easily. We'll be able to run through, cure it, run through, cure it. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, but before we wrap, of course, we now have a seven, which means that everybody who's been following along, as a reminder, there are two shinies up in this area where we got uh, an eight and a nine. If I remember correctly, I believe the eight... Let's see. The 8 was right here, and the 9 was like on a shiny right here, or it was vice versa or something. And then of course we got our 10 back by doing the early Lord of Blood area. So, with that, we now have enough materials that we can upgrade our weapons and get them where we want to. And I have no souls, so hang on one second. Pop some of these. But the big reason I'm pointing this out is it means that I finally don't feel bad about using my plus 10 blood fang. Because by this point, everybody should be able to have access to their weapon. And now, now we're taking advantage of that quality scaling we've been working up. Look at that, 705. So, bloodhound fang plus 10. We're of course going to still keep this guy in our back pocket. You know, the cold damage is fantastic, so that's going to be good to have around. Um, talk to you real fast though. Um, let's see what else I want to level up. If there's anything that I really want to play with. Um, no, I don't want to use Ruins or Wing. I've used those on other builds. Level you up. And you. Um, hang on. Let me go look at my inventory. So I've been debating what other weapons I'd want to use. Because I know the final boss is going to be immune to bleed. So I don't want to rely too much on Blood Fang. Even though it. You don't need the bleed, it still just deals massive amounts of damage. Uh, sword chest. That out. You, 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 you. Right, there is the Whirly Gig Saw coming up, but I'm not sure if I want that or not. Let me just look through, see if there is a different weapon. If I went for the Arcane build, this could be fun to mess with. There's the Greatsword variant as well. Um... What else would I want to use? I was thinking about going dual wield. That could be kind of fun. <laughs> Beast spear. Faith. Hmm. You know, I think I'll just use my bloodhound thing. I think that'll will do plenty. To get the job done for us. Yeah. 
So yeah, we're going to wrap things up here. Uh, Lake of Rot in the next episode. It's actually, now that I think about it, I can put on... Oh, we're going to need that. Uh, yes. Yes, I can go back to using Blood Hanging Blade, which will be fun. So yeah, closing out here. Lake of Rot. I'm going to be tackling that. Um, if you want to try and do it yourself, you're welcome to. I wouldn't recommend it. But we'll have more coming your way in a bit, so stay tuned.